Okay, so this video, it's going to be different. And if you're interested in media and lots of technical stuff, you're going to love this video. And if you're one of those people who only likes watching videos where people praise season four and you hate season five just because it's different. I don't want change! I don't want change! Everything has to stay the same! Then kindly leave and go to the corner of the internet where people who only don't shower go. And if you're open to hear about Thomas being released on Blu-ray and its interesting history, then feel free to stay. We've got cookies, Sainsbury's Crunchy Sticks, three for a pound sweets from Tesco Express, and one liter bottles of Oasis from B&M that are somehow only a pound. So let's start. Okay, so let's begin with a very brief history on Blu-ray. After DVD had its takeover in the 2000s, it didn't take long for people to want the next best thing, HD DVDs, as DVDs could only display up to 480p, which if you're not clued up on that kind of stuff, that is absolutely shite quality. And then emerged HD DVD and Blu-ray, and by extension, HD VMD, but we don't talk about that one. Both formats offered 1080p high definition picture quality, and if you haven't watched a film on Blu-ray before, it looks infinitely better than DVD it makes a huge difference. And so the platform war between HD, DVD and Blu-ray commenced, and it ran through 2006 to 2008. Both formats had supporting film companies. At launch, it looked like this, and by 2008, it looked like this. So yeah, Blu-ray won big time. It wouldn't be until two years later that Thomas and Friends would see its first Blu-ray release. However, there were plans to have a Blu-ray release of a specific Thomas project in 2009, that being Hero of the Rails. Plans were made to release Hero of the Rails on Blu-ray in 2009, most likely to hype up the fact that Thomas had gone full CGI. The Blu-ray went into production, but it was ultimately cancelled for unknown reasons, potentially because Hit didn't believe there was that much of a big market for Thomas on Blu-ray. And so all we have left of the Blu-ray is the menu, which was found by a good friend of mine, Carty. Soon 2010 came around and the Thomas and Friends movie Misty Island Rescue was released on DVD and for the first time in Thomas history, Blu-ray. However, similar to the Hero of the Rose Blu-ray, there were some plans to have it released in other territories, and that territory was the UK. And once again, like the US Hero of the Rose Blu-ray, it was cancelled, and most likely didn't even make it past the production stage. And for me personally, I feel it's pretty obvious why they didn't release it on Blu-ray in the UK. And that's simply because of the fact that the UK is a tiny market when you compare it to the US. And whenever Hit or Lionsgate, or whoever had to order the Blu-rays in, there was most likely a minimum order quantity. It's a lot like clothes in the sense that certain distributors could only produce a certain amount of Blu-rays for them to be ordered. And in the US, this wouldn't have been an issue at all, as the US population in 2010 was 309 million. Compare that to the UK, which its population in 2010 was a measly 62 million. So yeah, it's pretty obvious as to why they never made it there simply wasn't a big enough market. But that didn't stop them in 2011 with Day of the Diesels. Yep, to date, the only Thomas & Friends Blu-ray that exists in the UK is Day of the Diesels, one of the worst Thomas films ever made. Why did Hit release it in the UK? I have absolutely no clue. Why did they think it would sell well? Once again, that is beyond me. But expectedly, when the UK Blu-ray was released, guess who bought it? Absolutely nobody. Now look, I applaud Hit Entertainment for actually having the balls to release it in the UK, but when did they ever think that people were going to buy it? Keep in mind, Blu-ray was still seen as a luxury in the UK in 2011. Blu-ray players were still about £250, and when new films came out, the Blu-ray of the film costs about double the amount of the DVD. So why would people buy it? I'm sure some people bought it, but did it sell well? Absolutely not. Nowadays, you can find Day of the Diesel's Blu-rays in Poundland. Poundland. That is the equivalent to a Dollar Tree in the US. And that's because of the amount of excess stock that was lying around everywhere. So if you want to buy it, check your local Poundland or buy it on eBay for £2.45. Absolute fucking bargain, mate. Oh, and yeah, it was released in the US too. And apparently the Blu-ray transfer is really bad, but I mean, no one cares about the US, so let's just move on. And so for the next few Blu-rays, it's very standard. Blue Matter Mystery, got one. King of the Railway, Got one. Also, it has a really nice disc, so I mean, that's very cool. Tell the Brave? Yep. Got one with a slipcover too. Damn, boy! The Adventure Begins? 
Uh, so, Lord's Legend of the Lost Treasure. You fucking better got one. But only in the US. So the UK, which has the better version of the film, by the way, didn't get to experience this in true 1080p more than once. Well, I mean, they did. Yeah, fun fact, because Lost Treasure was so well received over here, it was shown for a second weekend in a row due to its popularity. And it was shown again in late 2020 in select UK theatres, which I actually attended, even though I was literally the only person in there. So I either looked really immature or I was hiding away from the police after committing tax fraud. Ah, oh, fuck, I've said too much. <laughs> and the last Thomas Blu ray release in the US, kind of, was The Great Race. And given that this was the last one, it may have not sold as well as it thought it would. But yeah, this was believed to be the last Thomas Blu-ray ever. As Journey Beyond Sodor came and went, nothing. Big Board Big Adventures came and went, nothing. I mean, it's not as if a company called Shout Factory would, you know, come round and re-release a Thomas film that should have been released on Blu-ray years ago. They include deleted scenes and interviews. Oh look, it's Thomas the Magic Railroad. In September 2020, Magic Railroad got released on Blu-ray. And if I'm going to be honest, I still don't really know if it was a success or not. I mean, yeah, a lot of people bought it. Like, a lot. But at the same time, there was no real proper hype around it. People were excited for a couple of days, then continued like absolutely nothing had happened. And now, a new Thomas Blu-ray from Shout Factory doesn't really seem like a feasible concept anymore. I mean, there was some promotion behind it, there were a couple of trailers, and... Yeah, that's about it. Oh yeah, and Thomas and the Magic Railroad also returned to theatres in the US only for a week. So the people who live where the books and the show were created can't watch it in theatres, but American Donnies can. Okay, I see how it is, Brit. Ah well, at least us UK fans can just import the Blu-ray and watch it on our own Blu-ray players. I mean, every Thomas Blu-ray that currently exists is region free, so there's absolutely no reason it shouldn't work. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's region locked. Well, that's £35 I'm never going to get back. The last Thomas Blu-ray, and it's region locked. Ah, well, at least nothing from the Big World era came out on Blu-ray. Yep, somehow, Big World Big Adventures got a very limited German Blu-ray release. Why? I have no idea. Did anyone ask for this? No. Did anybody want this? No. I mean, yeah, it's cool to see that Thomas still gets Blu-rays, but out of all the things you could put on Blu-ray, you put this on it? Not, oh, I don't know, Journey Beyond Sodor, The Adventure Begins, Hero of the Rails, The Great Discovery, Lady and the Tramp 2, Scamp's Adventure. Wait, what? And you might be asking, what about Cornwall Engine? It was shot in SD. Uh, editor's note right now, that means standard definition. So it doesn't even qualify for a Blu-ray. Now, as much as I'll rag on Thomas Blu-ray every now and again, the fact that Thomas even gets Blu-rays is astonishing. Think about that for a second. Let's go through a list of films and shows that somehow don't have Blu-rays, but definitely should. Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost, Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders, The Inbetweeners UK, The Looney Tunes Show. The Looney Tunes Show Season 2 doesn't even have a DVD release. Looney Tunes Rabbits Run. Tugs doesn't even have a DVD release. Brum doesn't have any complete series releases. Fireman Sam Season 5. No complete series DVD. You get what I mean? The fact that Thomas the Tank Engine has Blu-rays in its catalogue but Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island doesn't, just goes to show that we are very lucky to have these. And this is one of the few times where I'm going to tell you to get these while you still can, because some of these can be hard to find for a good price, and they're worth buying. I know a lot of you don't really care about pitch quality, but when you fully understand how detrimental pitch quality is to enjoy a film, you will be craving these. So please, before they skyrocket in price, get them. The only region locked Blu-ray out of all of them, to my knowledge, is Thomas and the Magic Railroad. I know you have to deal with the US dub, I feel your pain, don't worry. But if it means I can watch Thomas in Blu-ray quality, then that's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Also, where's my Thomas and the Magic Railroad 4K? Oh, oh, oh.